I have a podcast out now. It's called The Batch and Arthur Podcast. It's with me and Arthur TV. You're going to love it. Go and watch it. Top of the link in the description right now. Yes, I'm growing a little bit of a beard. Yes, the rumors are true. I have let myself go. You might have noticed I'm growing a little bit of something around my on my face. The truth is I don't do this for you. I do it for the aliens. In case they come down and try to probe me, I'll say, yeah, but have you checked out my YouTube channel? And they'll be engorging themselves in all this content as I slip away and probe myself instead. Because I know where my G-spot is. Can I say that this early on in this video? Well, I just did. Oops. Do you think it's a power move drinking coffee from a, s a small mug? Or more of a, uh, I don't know, a bitch move? I th kind of think it's like a power move. Because it sort of shows, oh, I don't need that much caffeine. Because I'm a full grown man. That's great, thanks. That's delicious, thank you. Anyway, today we are gonna be doing, um, <laughs> you know those random quizzes that like Buzzfeed will put up or other people? And it'll be like, am I gay quiz? What kind of chocolate bar am I? What kind of girly am I? When is my cycle, period? Mercury in retrograde quiz? Well, I'm gonna be doing all of them, pretty much. Shout out to the GF for this idea. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with what type of girl am I quiz because they physically can't get this right. I'm a gentleman. But Buzzfeed actually do have one of these, so I'm gonna do Buzzfeeds. But I think it's funnier if we do shitter quizzes made by shitter websites. We'll start with Buzzfeed, but it's gonna go downhill from here. First pick an outfit. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of like business casual. This is kind of like I'm doing some errands, but it's kind of hot outside. I drive a Jeep. This is I'm on a beach vibe. This is, oh, I got a couple of YouTube videos to film today. Also, I might queef later. This is Autumnal. I'm gonna walk to the cafe, get a pumpkin spice latte, and I might do a puzzle in the evening under, under candlelight. This is giving, God, I'm really turning into a lady with this. I'm getting into the mood. I don't know, that cardigan is horror, am I right? This is like, mm, I'll have an almond for lunch sort of thing. What's going on here? She in the boot of a car? This is like hippie. This is, I'm getting back from the gym. Okay, if I was a chica, what would I wear, huh? Almond for lunch, please. Lock me up. Pick a bath and scent. What? You're not giving me a bath option. You're just giving me scent. So I've got no choice but to have a bath. What, women can't shower? Hmm? Women can't stand too long because their pussies get in the way. <laughs> anyway, cinnamon spiced vanilla. That sounds delicious. Strawberry cheesecake. Grow up. Japanese cherry blossom. Yep, respect. Champagne toast, that's a breakfast meal. Cactus blossom, you're making stuff up now. Bourbon musk, Elon Musk's son. <laughs> I couldn't even finish the joke. The thing is, thoughts come into my head quicker than I can say them, so th I was already laughing. <laughs> as soon as I saw musk, I'd already made the joke as I was reading bourbon in my head. Bourbon musk, fuck knows what that is. Uh, warm vanilla sugar, what? Mahogany coconut, what the fuck? I've got to be honest, I might do cinnamon spice vanilla. I'm going to do it. I say I might, I've done it. Who are you in your friend group? Um, the leader slash, no, I'm slash sort of the medic. If anyone gets a graze, I'll be there to put a plaster on it. What's that? You've got a rash. Don't worry, I've got ointment. <laughs> I never say ointment. No one here, no one in the UK says ointment. We don't have ointment. Oint, oint, it's made up by a pig. The daydreamer, the loud, messy one. That's just an insult. Not just loud or messy, it's like the loud, messy, Fucking ugly, pathetic, sweaty. <laughs> the mum, the fashionable, weird one. Why have you put them together? I don't know. The cheeky, wild one. The adventurous one. The secretly hardcore one. I don't really think I want to know what that means. The pretty and kind one. Because <laughs> if you're ugly, you can't be kind. Only the pretty ones are kind. I want to say the fashionable and weird one, but emphasis on the weird. I'm not calling myself fashionable. I'm just saying out of all these things, I mean, daydream is kind of true as well, but I'm pretty weird. I'm going to go for that. Pick one. What the fuck? Pick one. Hmm. The earth or doing this with the sun. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> what does this just mean? What does this even mean? Just pictures? Just picking a picture I like? Oh, heaven or some hills. Well, I don't, I'm not sure. Well, you'd like to know what I'd pick. I'm going to go for the Milky Way galaxy. Right here, I think. Or the moon. I do like the moon a lot. I do actually stargaze. I actually do dabble in stargazing. I've got a telescope under my bed. And this is what the moon looks like in my telescope. Because it's not, it doesn't zoom in too far, mine. I get to about here. Also, if you zoom in too far, I can zoom in far, but you zoom in too far and the moon's already at, it's already moved out of place. Because once you're zoomed that far in, the moon's movement is way more exaggerated. So I can't be asked to keep tracking it. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking this one. Okay, pick a color. Gray. I never understood why Americans and English people spell gray differently because it's the same language. So what happened? Forest green, gray, beige, orange, pink, light blue, pastel yellow, or white. What a random array of colors. Um, I'm not going to be a beige girly. I'm not. 
I might go forest green because right now I'm looking at it. My favorite color is purple, by the way. I like purple. I'm going to go forest green. Complements purple very well. Alexa, do does green and purple match? From LifeWire.com, green and purple can be a striking combination in deep or bright dual tones or use lighter shades for a cheerful spring-like theme. Okay. You know, thank you. Pick a song. Here comes the sun by the Beatles. Super bass by Nicki Minaj. Ceilings by Lizzie McAlpin. McAlp McAlpine. I don't know. Watching him fade away by Mac DeMarco. Cardigan by Taylor Swift. Kokomo by the Beach Boys. Made you look by Megan Trainor. Lean on me by Bill Withers. I'm gonna go with Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Finally, pick a necessity. Oh, my favorite thing to pick. Necessities. Chapstick. <laughs> I don't know if you got necessities right. Iced coffee, I think a roof over your head is a bit more important, or oxygen. Okay, iced coffee, chapsticks, comfy clothes, AirPods, sunglasses, hair tie, phone, Stanley, I don't know who Stanley is. I'm gonna have to go with phone. Without a phone, I wouldn't have a job really. So, sad as it is, what am I? I'm that girl! Yes! I'm about, to, fuck it, I'm about to have my first period. I don't care. Just did it in my pants. <laughs> Please put in a period sound effect. King, please. I'm sure you have that in your file somewhere. You're someone who sees wellness, productivity, beauty, and mindfulness as important. You love getting attention and being around friends. You can be moody at times. Oh, that's so true. You're someone people can relate to and aspire to be at the same time. Well, you guys tell me, is that true? Are all those nice words true about me? You know what is kind of true because I clearly love getting attention, otherwise I wouldn't do this, and being around friends. And I could be moody at times. I can be moody at times. Can I be honest with you? I didn't want to film this video. I'm being real. I didn't. I was lying down there on that floor like a child because I was burnt out. But I've pulled myself together and I'm here because I needed the attention. And if you guys relate to that, then this last thing is true. People can relate and aspire to be the same. Would you also like to lie on that floor? Let me know down in the comments. What kind of wolf am I? I wanna know if I'm the alpha. Which type of wolf am I, huh? If you were a wolf, what would you eat? Hmm, I thought a lot about this. Deer, moose, beavers, hares, small mammals, and birds. Oxen, hares, caribou, <laughs> they're making up animals. What the hell's a ptarmigan? Seals and birds. Bison, elk, mook. <laughs> Fucking mook, it's not a thing. I can't read, I've really realized Filming YouTube videos where I have to read something out. I can't read. I don't think I'm dyslexic. I think I'm just an idiot. Salmon, voles, squirrels, and hares. Deer, moose, beavers, hares, small mammals, birds, and buffaloes. Deer, mules, elks, and small animals. I don't know how to fucking answer that question, to be honest. What? I'm going to go with this one because uh, there's a little bit of salmon in there. How big would you be? <laughs> I could just decide. Small, but I look regular size because of my fur. <laughs> how is that an option? I can be small, but because I've got small, but with lots of fur. <laughs> That's an option. I'll be honest. I'm kind of average maybe, or big. Come on, give me, say, someone say big so I can put it down. Six foot male, nothing but pure muscle. I'm gonna go, uh, I'll go average. I'll go average, I'll be honest. No, I'll go big because if you take every human in the world, I would be above average in size because women are naturally shorter anyway, like smaller and more petite, but not all women. And that's a good thing. What color would your fur be or what other colors would you be okay with it being? I don't see color. A pearly white, just plain white or with some gray. Fine, I'll have some gray in me. That's a racist answer right there. Mixed grays, black or silver. I always wanted to be a black wolf. Red with salt and pepper to make a good looking coat. Mm, no one's gonna eat your ass. <laughs> The fuck? Brownish with light colored ears, maybe black or white. Grayish, white, black or tan. I want black and black, uh, really pure white is cool as well though. Uh, maybe we'll go, oh, I've got to be honest, don't I? I'm white, so I'm going pearly white. What is your den like? Sandy, newly dug or in a cave? Usually I can't dig well. Near humans or away in a freshly dug den? In caves or in already dug out places or by humans or not, sort of wherever and everywhere in a dugout den in the ground. I'd like to be in a cave, okay? What temperature would I prefer? I like cold in general. Very cold so I can feel the wind in my fur and run all day. I've said that before, I think, I fear. Dry warmth and where it's sunny so I can't tan. That doesn't make sense. Hot in the summer, cold in the winter. I kind of like that. Colder than average, but not brutally cold. Cold or warm doesn't really matter, just not too hot. Let's do hot in the summer and cold in the winter. It's kind of like the UK. Where would you most likely to live? Where would you most like to live? I can't read. In cold and northern forests, in a dry desert with sun and rock, someplace way up north where it's cold, someplace with rocks and places to climb, with a forest to hide in, in warmer northern forests. I like this. I like trees and forests, and I like rocks. How good you're hearing. Well, oh yeah, I can hear when I want to. My landscape helps because sounds echo. Right, well, I'm not going to be one of those. What? Oh yeah, I can hear when I want to. My, my landscape helps because sounds echo. 
dumbass. I can't hear very well and I think pretty close is okay. I'm excellent at hearing things a long way off. I'm good at hearing or better than some other wolves. I'm pretty good at hearing long distances. I say I'm an excellent hearer. I truly am. How large are your litters? I love pups. We have around four. Can't really answer this question. Hmm. I'm endangered so I guess we need a few more pups, right? <laughs> Okay, that was kind of nonchalant. All depends, sometimes a lot, sometimes only one. We have big litters with up to 10 pups at a time. Not a lot of pups come at once. What is that? Suppose that feels like a threat. I'm gonna go, uh, hmm, I'm an endangered, right? <laughs> So we need a few more pups. Are you endangered? Well, I just said I was. I am everywhere. Our kind is thriving in North America. I was recently moved from the endangered species list, so I'm happy about that. I seem rare. That might just be because you don't usually see me. Very rare, but they're trying to bring us back. We want our native homeland. I'm protected by humans, or so they say, but they keep killing us off. I'm gonna go very rare. I'm one in a million. Exactly where do you live? <laughs> so they want my address. This, this whole test was a trick. <laughs> they're currently trying to push my kind into Arizona. Why is this so specific? I used to live in Alaska and Western Canada, but I live in Yellowstone National Parks in part of Idaho. That sounds cool. I'm fucking with that. Your true wolf type is the Rocky Mountain, Mackenzie Valley, or Alaskan wolf. Canis lupus, a magnificent and formidable species that roams in rugged and expansive lands of North America. Just like this awe-inspiring wolf, you possess a unique set of qualities and characteristics that make you truly exceptional. This does sound like me. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, it's a fucking novel. Oh, but I've got more percentage, okay. I'm 20% Arctic wolf, sounds like me. Yeah, my father was Arctic. And 20% Mexican wolf or lobo. Yep, yeah, that sounds about right, because I am spicy white. I've got a little something going on. Okay, gay test. Which one should we pick? I think we pick a really bad one. Allthetests.com. The 100% accurate gay test. Okay, yeah. Well, I've got to do that if it's 100% accurate. How has this got ratings? Three and a half stars, okay. That's a fucking time. Well, if I run out of time, I'm gay. What's happening? Uh, how long have you had this suspicion that you might be gay? Well, I haven't. Not at all until something happened. Maybe for a few months for the longest time. I can't really do this because I'd have to lie and I want a re legitimate answer. Okay, underwear expert, am I gay quiz? Oh, you can't show, we can't show that. Take the gay quiz. The touch of a man. Um... Yeah, so no from me, dog. Only, yeah, that's something only straight people say. I could probably get into that concept, yes. Doesn't sound all that pleasant, thanks. Excites me in ways I can't begin to describe. The touch of a man isn't, I, I'm not saying, oh, that's disgusting, that's gay, get your hands off me. I don't care if I get touched, but there wasn't an option to be like, yeah, it's whatever. I had to say, not for me, dog. My go-to drink, now this is more like it. Vodka soda, gin and tonic, Negroni, ice, cold beer. Whatever it is, straight men drink, <laughs> or I don't drink. I'm gonna go beer. I either drink beer or I don't drink, really, so. I don't really drink that much, to be honest. I don't. There's no point in life, okay? And I wouldn't be on your screen right now if I did drink every day. My favorite Olympic event to watch is, hmm, the one where boys toss each other off. Bob Slay, weightlifting, Tom Daly knitting, isn't he precious? <laughs> wrestling, oil wrestling, preferably. <laughs> Are they bof Bob Slay is pretty cool. The Funny Girl revival on Broadway was, what? I, something, I don't know. It wasn't really on my radar, to be honest with you. Of these four musical artists, I'd rather listen to Charlie XCS, X. I crashed the car into the bridge, I watched and let it burn. I pat to ba da ba da boom. Da baby, yikes. Megan Thee Stallion or Drake in 21. I'm gonna say it's between Drake in 21 and Charlie. I like old Drake, so I don't really, I don't really, you know, zing about my German. At the gym, I spend an excessive amount of time finger in my ass. Nope. Checking myself out in the mirror, texting my crush in the steam room, in the locker room. Probably checking myself out in the mirror. I'm gonna keep it real. My beard is new to me. It's new, I've just grown this thing. Soft and trimmed to perfection, rough and scraggly, non-existent, named Jennifer. How did they know? <laughs> what do you wear down there? Boxes, briefs, jock straps, trunks. Nothing's not an option. Okay, I'll wear boxes. Fine. Yeah, we're gonna have to censor all of this. It's men in thongs, by the way. How long do you spend doing a morning skincare routine? You wanna know what my morning skincare routine is? Okay, I put on eye cream because I've got sunken eyes. I'm trying to fix this. And then I put on Jehovah oil, if that's how you say it. And then that's it for my face, that's all I do. Six minutes, two minutes. I'm gonna go six minutes, probably. Butts. I love them. Can't be bothered with them. Think they're just fine. Could see myself in one, yeah. <laughs> oh, like that. I see what he's saying. They're just fine. Women have butts as well. News flash. An objectively hot guy walks past in grey sweatpants. I look respectfully, look disrespectfully, pretend I do not see it, or pull out binoculars. I pretend I don't see it, I guess. You can find me lingering a little too long in the underwear aisle of a department store. That's just weird. That's not a gay thing to do. In the club, bottle full of bub. <laughs> Ew, dude. 
I'm never, ca you're never catching me with a bottle full of bub because I would never call it bub. Wearing a cargo shorts, wearing cargo shorts on a brisk winter's day, man spreading on public transport. <laughs> yeah, probably man spreading to be fair. When it comes to friendship, I gravitate towards straight men, everyone but straight men, divas specifically, gay men specifically, probably straight men. All of my friends are straight men, I think. I don't know about Arthur, but. Of these four movie movies, I'd rather watch Bullet Train, Everything Everywhere All At Once, Tar or Pearl. Well, I did watch Everything Everywhere All At Once and I enjoyed it. Who's your favorite White Lotus character? I never watched it, so I'm gonna pick a female. Oh, I know Jennifer Coolidge is funny, so I'm picking her. No! Oh no! I've gotta put in my email to get the results. No! I'm not doing that. I'm doing another gay quiz. Don't worry guys, I'll speed run a gay quiz. Have you ever had feelings of the same gender of close, a close friend? Nope, just friends. Is someone of the same gender? Uh, nope, not interested. How do you feel about queer characters in TV shows and movies? Um, representation. Yep, but they don't stand out to me. Yep. When someone asks you who you're crushing on, I talk about someone of the opposite sex who I'm genuinely crushing on. Has anyone ever asked if you're gay? Yeah, actually. People DM me saying, oh, yo, you gay or what? And also my own mother thought I was gay for ages. When you imagine being in a relationship, what do you picture? I can only see myself with someone on the opposite sex. How do you feel about identifying as gay? No, I don't really think that's me. Have you ever felt attracted to someone of the same gender? You guys have seen Christian Bale in movies, right? The man crush doesn't count, does it? Because I can appreciate a handsome man in a movie and I'm like, but it's more I want to be them than be inside them. So I'm going to go, nope. How do you feel about dating someone of the opposite gender? Um, yeah. I do it. Do you ever fantasize about being someone of the same gender? No, I don't. When you imagine kissing or being intimate with a future partner, how do you feel? I'm too young for that. <laughs> if you scroll through your For You page, do you see content from queer creators? Maybe, depends on the day. Flash forward five years, how likely is it that your partner is the same gender as you? It's very likely. No, I meant unlikely. <laughs> Can I go back? Same gender, uh, not very likely. Would you be comfortable using an LGBTQ plus dating app? Nah, no point, so I'm not gay. I don't know why I'm doing this test. Are there a lot of LGBTQ plus individuals in your friend group? There aren't. What inspired you to take this quiz? Uh, I'm just curious. You are probably straight, so there's a chance there's some gay in me. Hey, we'll see, we'll find out. Play the long game, we'll find out how about that. Hey, let's find out what kind of bug I am. Insect personality quiz, let's go. How would you respond to being invited on an action-packed day exploring the world? Yes, yes, yes! Shoot me if I ever respond like that, by the way. I'm gonna go, it depends how I'm feeling that day. I need time, you need to tell me a week in advance if I'm doing something, otherwise my brain, I can't do it, I don't know, if, is there something wrong with me? What do you look for in a friend? Someone who's loyal, someone who is multifaceted, someone who's funny, someone who is empathetic. I like a funny person, I do. If you were forced to eat a bug, which one would it be? Small roly-poly. I'll gladly try a stink bug with a full bag of sugar. Why is that an option? A ladybug for good luck. That's not good luck. That's rotten. I'll just leave my mouth open to see what flies in. Yep, that's my motto in life. <laughs> What's your favorite drink? Water, fruit punch. Too many to choose. You can't just give that. When someone's asking you a question, you can't just go, hmm, I don't know, too many options. <laughs> You're on a date, someone goes, oh, what's your favorite food? I don't know, there's too many foods. Can't pick. <laughs> a milkshake with two straws for me and my lover. <laughs> what's going on? I'm going for that. A milkshake for one for me and my lover. What's the best color combo? Color combo. <laughs> Fuck. What's the best color combo? What's the best color combo? It's cause color, you guys spell color, color like color. Anyway, red and black, red and hot pink, yellow and light pink, rainbow, red and black, black. Which activity do you like to do in your free time? Read, take hikes, spend times with loved ones, sing or dance. I like to go on a hike. I belong in the mountains. I yearn for the mountains. My groin yearns for the mountains. Which is your greatest flaw? I ignore others' feelings. I'm naive. Is there two eyes on naive? Wow. I'm easily distracted. I keep myself too busy. Combo of these two bomb ones. I'm gonna go, um, I could go. I'll do, I'm easily distracted probably. How would you respond if someone started annoying you on purpose? I'd poke their eyes out. Ask them to politely to, to stop or, to tr or try to ignore it. Be annoying back, obvi obviously. It depends on what they're doing. Sweet talk them into stopping with your enchanting words. Yeah, that sounds like me. Hey, you don't wanna do that. You're too pretty to be punching me in the face. You're in love. Which do you do? It all depends. That's not an answer. Tell them right away, stay silent, make a detailed plan that begins with becoming their friend. That's what's up right there. What? Mich becoming Michelle Obama. United States, of it. she's American grown. It's a memoir. I'm gonna have to try that out. Uh, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but can I do that again? Oh, wow. Becoming, thesaurus. Here's a trick, okay? You're trying to impress someone. First time you 
meeting them. You find out something about them before you meet them. Or, oh, no, okay, you've already met them, right? But you're trying, if you want to impress them, this is what you do, okay? <sighs> you find out online what they like. You find out they like, I don't know, reading. Next day you come in, you just just slightly drop like, yeah, I don't know, I was up late last night. Oh, what really? What were you doing? I was just reading. Oh, do you do that a lot? Yeah, I do. What about you? Do you read? Yeah, I do as well. Oh, amazing. What are you reading right now? Boom. It's evil. I know. It works. Finally, pick another hobby. Arts and crafts, matchmaking strangers, reading all day, every day. Hmm. They just heard me. Anything that gets me out of the house. I'm going to go anything that gets me out of the house. I like to- Fuck that! I am not a ladybird. Not only do you symbolize love, fuck I do, don't I? But you also bring luck wherever you go. You are attractive and people want to be around you. Fuck, they're so right. No matter where you land or where you go, you always make people smile. You're a jolly little bug. You are a jolly little bug. Oh my God, they got me so right. I should have seen this coming when they said, what's the best color combo? And I literally just said black and red, which is what a ladybug is. So they kind of tricked me with that. Okay, um, what star sign? I should do how big is my pussy? I should... <laughs> uh, sorry, I love saying I love saying that. What zodiac sign in my quiz? If you could morph into any animal at any time, what would it be? Okay, one thing about me, yeah? My 18th birthday party, I had an, or had a, an orca cake, a killer whale cake specially made for me because I was obsessed with killer whales. What's that? Cool or is it autism? Let me know down in the comments. I'm going with an orca. Eagle is a close second though. Dream job growing up. Hedge fund manager. Boring cowgirl slash cowboy. Yes, I wanted to be a cowgirl, an astronaut or a prince slash princess. Of course I wanted to be an astronaut. Guys, I studied planetary science and astronomy at uh, university. No cap. You're having the perfect birthday bash. What's the vibe? Posh, gorgeous party with a gr grest list, great food and a dress code. I like the idea of a trip to the coast. Yeah, I like the idea of that. What's one dream purchase that could totally change your life right now? I'd take either a ho hovercraft or a personal assistant. A personal assistant would change my life. I'm pretty stressed, but then a hovercraft would also be pretty cool. The truth is I could get an assistant. I can't get a hovercraft, so I'm gonna have to go for a hovercraft. What's your romantic history been like? I've had passionate, fun, light-hearted romances. Sometimes they fizzle quickly, but they always burn bright. That's so cringe. I've always had intense relationships with deep emotional bonds. It's Saturday night, what are you doing? Oh, sometimes I'll see my friends on a Saturday night as well, so I'll go for that. It's either I'll see my friends or I'll, I'll film. A genie is granting you one special wish. What are you asking for? A pussy! No, I'm not really. I just keep saying pussy, I'm gonna stop. The independent friend, the funny friend, the organized friend. I go funny, that's objectively true. When the interviewer asks you why you deserve the job, what do you say? I'm ambitious and determined. You'll never find someone quite like me. I'm curious and great at thinking outside the box. I'll stick with projects to the very end. I'm detail oriented and focused and I really value transparency. I love windows. I'm supportive and generous with my time and I'm a great team player. I'm ambitious and determined. That's what's up right there. Uh, you're a newly minted superhero. What's your power? Mm, I don't know. Controlling the weather, super speed, super smarts, reading minds. I think super smarts are probably be the best do you think oh you want me to tell you my harry potter house okay fine or maya briggs type i don't know what that is um give me slytherin i'm kind of evil you're playing truth or dare with friends what's your move i won't be taken down so easily i'm excited yeah i want to know what they come up with with dare that's why i do it which nintendo switch game are you forcing your friends to play a pokemon game for sure what sounds like an ideal afternoon activity playing in the snow and warming up with some hot chocolate mm, yes and then having my belly rubbed i like snow choose a set of colors blues and purples well i don't need to read the rest because my favorite color purple you're an aquarius yes only 12% of quiz takers got this result. I'm rare. The truth is I'm not an Aquarius, by the way. You want to know the truth? I'm a Virgo. <sighs> Am I an emo quiz? Yeah, I think I need that. On average, you feel... I'm happy. Take a look inside your closet. What color do you see most? Whoa. Does a pussy count as a color? To be honest, brown. Yeah, sort of brown, but that's only because I shit my t-shirts every day. Uh, white and a few... Other colors? It's the closest thing we got to brown, I'm afraid. How do you like to style your hair? Uh, long straight bangs that cover my eyes. Cold, straight, or whatever's trending. Yeah, cold. Out of these bands, which one's your favorite? I like Panic at the Disco. Um, what is my outfit, guys? Trendy jeans, a bright colored top, and stylish sneakers. How would your friends describe you? Bubbly. Because I got a yeast infection, that's why. You can only watch one movie for the rest of your... F fucking mic down. Well, I don't want to watch any of them for the rest of my life. I didn't even finish Donnie Darko. The Nightmare Before Christmas, maybe? Yeah, it's the weekend. Got any plans? I'll probably head to the beach and get some vitamin D. Vitamin dick. You're heading to the mall. Where do you stop first? Oh, yeah, I could use some new Converse. What do you think of tattoos and piercings? Yeah, whatever you want. I, I like them. I consider getting one or two. I've got, I've got a couple tattoos, actually. They're hidden. I'm not going to show you them. They're in my ass. You wake up on a gloomy day. Your first thought is... Boo! I hate rainy... Yeah, it's... I don't... 
That's the truth. I'm not gonna lie. What quote does resonate with me the most? The best way to predict the future is to create it. Yeah, so true guys, you gotta create your own future. Please be an emo. Please be a big titted emo, goth, please. You're not emo. <laughs> Do it again, test me again, please. Well, there you go. I've just taken some quizzes. Now you know a little bit more about me. I hope that makes you feel more comfortable in my presence. I feel like I should do an am I on my period test right now. Am I on my period quiz? Fine, I'm going to do it. Are you bleeding from your vagina? <laughs> I'm not, personally. Are you being nice? I don't think I am. Do others say that you're being mean? I don't think so. Are your breasts sensitive right now? No, I don't think they are. Have you slapped anybody lately? <laughs> no. Can you control your anger? Yes, I can control my anger. Do you think you should be on your period by this day? I don't think so. Are you moody? Probably. I don't know. Can you count like when you're stressed out and you're like, oh, I just need to get this done and you don't want to speak to anyone and you just want to get it done. Is that being moody or is that just being stressed? I'm going to say I don't think so. Do you have cramps? No. Do you have nausea? No. Great. Okay, thank fuck I'm not on my period. Relax, girl, you're not on your period. Even if you are on it now. Oh, even if you're not on it now, you can prepare for it. Make sure that you have enough period products for your use, such as pads, tampons, etc. True. Thank you for watching the video. That is the last one. Now you know way more about me. Share this to your family group chat so they can find out more about me. Like the video, subscribe, comment, and watch the video that is hovering over my face right now. Please. You're, please. Please. I'm begging.